so I'm just coming back from the drugstore. So, uh, any minute now, things are going to get a lot better. <laughs> it's funny, it's like, you know, I, I used to, I've had a lot of troubles with substance abuse in my life. You know, I drank like a, Fucking, I drank like Charles Bukowski for fucking, I don't know how long, 15 years. So I was a kid since I was, I don't know, for a long time anyway. You know, long, and, long enough and much enough that I almost died from it, so. Uh, you know, and I had uh, a few years of being a pretty hardcore junkie. And, uh, that was fun for about a week, you know. Um, and I've had, uh, I don't know, just various fucking troubles with drugs and shit in my life. You know, now I'm a good kid, and I just... You know, I keep a pretty non-volatile prescriptions. There's a couple things I've been on for a long time that I can't really do without. But, um, so going into bad withdrawal. And that's kind of what this morning's all about. Used to those kind of drugs, you know what I mean? It's, uh, I'm not gonna go into what, nothing bad. It's not like I'm taking fucking like nothing abnormal. Let's just say that. But, uh, definitely when you're a guy like me that has the issues I have when you run out of your, your stuff. And, uh, and then the night, the morning comes when you wake up and you don't have it and you need it. Yeah. It kind of, you get a little wiggy, you know what I mean? But, uh, it's all good. Everything's all fucking settled. It's 8.30 in the morning. I'm walking home. It's fucking cold out, man. It's like... Minus 15 degrees or some shit. It's been really like really warm here for a few days for the time of year. Anyway, it's been like zero degrees. Or, I think it actually went up to plus six the other day. Which is why like everything is funny because like we had this big cold. Uh, fuck. And this big cold front happened. That's how winter's going this year. Here, it's like we're having a, you know, like a week of fucking brutal extreme cold. Like, fuck, we went down, we were down to like minus 40 the other week, you know what I mean? And like over the wind chill anyway. And, uh, which counts for sure when you're walking. It counts right now, for fuck's sake. But, uh, and then uh, it would, like, warm up to almost springtime conditions for about a week. And then another cold front. And then another warm-up. Like, I can't believe that, uh, I'm not fucking sick as a motherfucker, you know? Like, this is, like, how, this is how kids in Canada get sick, you know? A fucking fluctuating temperatures, the hot, the warm, you know, everything freezes over and then it gets all fucking warm and fucking bacteria ridden and the kids wiping their fucking dirty snotty hands all over shit and when you have kids in your life, which I do, which is great, but uh, yeah. It's like, uh, now it's, in a, but anyway, what happens is like, a, okay, so the, the, we have a cold front, 
and uh, everything gets fucking frozen, right? Like, and then maybe there's snow or ice or some sort of fucking precipitation. And like, so the the salters and the spreaders and uh, like the sand spreaders go around and fucking salt all the sidewalks and roads like the sidewalks are fucking clear as fuck right now uh, for the most part but all the puddles see all the puddles and ice, icy bits melt a bit when it gets all fucking warm and uh, then the cold hits again and they get all fucking smooth and all the ice and sand that's been uh, put on them to make them melt has all sunk to the bottom, so like there's, it's like an ice rink, you know, like in the, where there's been, fuck, I, sorry, I keep saying, your hands, it's cold, um, like I'm walking over a puddle right now, I gotta walk real careful, because it's like a fucking ice rink, man, and, uh, that's just how it goes when you're fucking living here, man, you know, most of the year you can... I don't know, they, uh, they say this is where the seasons are supposed to last four months each. And, uh, but I swear, we have like fucking two months of fall, fucking month of spring, and, uh, you know, wickedly fucking hot and humid summers that last for a couple months. And then it's like, the big freeze for the rest of the year, man. It's fucking cold, you know, but there's a beauty to it. <laughs> Definitely a fucking beauty to it. It's not, uh, you know, if I if I moved away to a warmer climate, I'd probably miss it. So I always say, you know, like, I don't know, it's just kind of like, uh, it's fucking maybe it's flaky as fuck, but uh, I would say there's a like a poetry to the seasons here, you know. Like uh, you know, if I lived in California or somewhere, or maybe out on the west coast of Canada, you know, like the coldest it would get would be like a rainy day, like, you know, or I wouldn't see much snow. But if I lived down south, you know, like I'd love to live. I, you know, that's the thing, I'd love to live in southern U.S. America, you know, like, like Mississippi or fucking New Orleans or some shit. I'd fucking love living there. But, but the thing is, I think I miss the, uh, I certainly would miss the seasons. Because, you know, we do have very defined lines between the times of year here, regardless of how long they go on for or whatever, it's different every year too, you know, like some years the winters are nothing and some years they're fucking you know, like two winters ago I got frostbite in one of my hands or sort of like almost frostbite, I couldn't I couldn't feel my uh, I couldn't play guitar for uh, almost the year because I couldn't feel my fingers and uh, in my left hand my, my fingertips were all numb. I'm having to use my cell phone to call a cab to get to work in the cold. And minus like fucking 41 degree weather or some bullshit like that. But I'm just fucking yakking. I'm trying to. This is like, the, I always say, it's the longest, boringest walk I've ever fucking taken in Peterborough all the day. Elmer, the Elmer Street walk, it's like fucking so depressing. All these depressing fucking houses and shit like this everywhere. You know, I've partied in a lot of these houses too. I think that's what's depressing me about it is back in my bad old days when I was, as I said before, drinking like Charles Bukowski. You know, you just you find yourself in certain parts of town more often than not, especially after the bars close, because there's always 
that one place that has the fucking after hours party every night or whatever and it's a lot of a lot of places up here that's uh, that I passed I spent a lot of time but I did in my 20s anyway drinking fucking fortified wine and doing cocaine crazy shit I don't know it's weird it's like triggers right like the people all these fucking millennials they throw around that term triggered I'm triggered like it's like fucking popcorn in a movie theater you know it pisses me off like half of them don't even know what it's like to be triggered you know or having to have the life experience you know to fucking to know <laughs> I'm fucking yakking my face off here anyhow I'm getting close to home this is like a fucking ice rink I'm walking right now boy holy shit pray I don't fall okay there we go Alright, I'm gonna I'm about to hit a really icy patch, so I'm not should be held holding my cell phone. So I'm gonna sign off. But uh I'll talk to you soon. We're documenting this morning from feeling fucking crazy and shitty to feeling cold and shitty to in a bit I'm gonna feel good or feel normal again. And I'll talk to you then. Or I'll throw up some tunes or something. My roommate's going for the day so I can make a racket. So I probably will. But I'll talk to you soon in the, as we approach quickly the meth end of town. Be well. Stay free.